Latvia versus Slovenia in the International Hockey Federation, and they're coming down. He's going to drop pass it. Oh, the guy that he was passing it to went the other way. They skated into each other. Slovenia gets the puck two on one. Beautiful passing, beautiful finish. Not them, though. They collided. They messed up. It led to a goal. They end up winning the game. You missed that, and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching, and today's episode is brought to you by Farmer's Dog. You heard me. Farmer's Dog. Let's get into it. First up, we're going to the IPL because you know I love the IPL, and the King Coley scored 100 runs the match before this. This is the last match of the season. If they won it big, they would have went to the playoffs, and that would have been exciting, and King Coley scores another 100 to help his team, but it wasn't enough help. They didn't. They lost. They lost. They didn't end up going to the playoffs. This team, RCB, Royal Challengers, Bangalore, did I say that wrong? They're basically the angels of the IPL. They're up front talent. Oh, that sucks. That guy missed that one. It went for four. They're up front talent. Uh, Duplessis and Coley are just phenomenal. They're like Trout and Otani. In a way, in a way, uh, they just can't pitch. So they're very much the angels. They didn't make the postseason. Everyone's like, oh, if they make the postseason, it would be awesome. But they didn't do it. But Coley excites everybody because he's returning to form. Look at him. King Coley bows down. No, you don't bow down to them. They bow down to you. You're the king. Let's do something we've never done before and head to the world of sumo. On the right, you have Mace. He is shorter and lighter than the dude on the left, who is the grand champion right now. His name is Terano Fuji, which I didn't say correctly or fast enough. Ter Terano Fuji versus Mace. And I love watching sumo and slow mo to see the strategies, because when you watch it fast-paced, you're like, don't really know what's happening. They both just bam, bam each other, ram each other, and then you can see Mesa's trying for the swim move, right? So his left arm coming over, because he wants to grab his belt with his right hand. He misses the belt right there, has to re-grip. Oh, he goes right back for it. No move necessary. Now that he's on the belt, see his left arm trying to get separation, and once he's got a hold of him on the belt, he just wants to run the big dude around. So he's just running him around, trying to get his feet to mess up. And eventually he does get the right foot of the champion to slip and he pounces. Push, push, push. Adam Doyo, he wins. He is now, what do they call it? They call it the Kin, uh, Kinboshi or no, the Kashi Kashi because he beat the grand champion. That's his first time doing it. He gets a gold star. He wins. And look how excited this lady was. Oh, almost as excited as me. That was cool. Get that belt, move them feet, find a slip and attack. That was sumo. That was sumo. You guys missed that. You were did not watch it. You thought about it. You didn't. Back to the AFL. And this one, I think I have to go in slow-mo as well. We got a two-point game at the end here. The conditions were wet and slippery and rainy, which led to a lot of this. The ball just moving around. Now, the guy in black on Adelaide, he just throws that away because there's two blue shirts near the ball. And then they're chasing it. They're chasing it. Now he's going to kick it away to keep it alive. Now this guy in black grabs it, but it falls. So then he kicks it forward. And we're just playing hot potato in the rain. Everyone's looking sexy, feeling good. The one-handed pickup, then you can't toss it. You have to bat it. So he bats it to his teammate who drops it, picks it up, regroups, drop kicks for the three-point goal, celebrates on the bottom. Uh, and that was going to be enough to win them the match. So it was a sloppy game and a big finish. I said three points. It was more than that. But watch watch him kick this as he's getting hit. Bam! Throws him to the ground as he's getting hit. Okay. Special guest joining me for the next one. We're going Sheffield Wednesday. They lost the first leg of the playoffs by four goals. So they need to win by four goals or five. They need to win by four to force uh, PKs, and that's what they do. So this is the fourth goal, and it's beautiful passing and a, and a kind of crazy celebration because he runs, jumps, and spikes the flag, which seems da dangerous. It, you see that? It ricochets back into the guy in the vest face right there. <laughs> it's, he spikes the flag, and then it ricochets and hits that dude in the face. He's like, come on, man. That wasn't fun for me. You know who wasn't fun for? The other team. They're in agony. They're like, no way are we really going to do this. We're really going to lose by four goals. Hey, 
Friday afternoon. Come on. Can't swear. I'm going to sign here. There's no swords. Oh, I like this, though. This assist, I don't know who this guy is, but he comes up to the other coach and he's like, what are you doing? He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. fucking settle down, leave, get out of here. So that dude, that dude leaves. Look at the passing here over to this dude who just crosses it into the middle, headers it back into the center and they net it. That's a nice goal, but a free kick, own goal header, and now they do not have a four goal lead anymore. They need to score another one. Here they come. They get the ball up front, across, back, pinball, and in. And they do it. They're up by four again. Are they really going to do this? That was a cool celebration and even cool slider. And kids are on shoulders because this is a local match. Kids are on shoulders. This is family. This is, you know, locality. Locality? What the hell does that mean? I just mean, like, regional. Like, there's so much, like, pride on the line here. It goes to PKs and Sheffield Wednesday makes every single kick and they don't, this guy doesn't celebrate, just kind of looks angry. This guy makes the kick. That's two for two. No celebration. No nothing. This guy comes up the lefty. He makes the kick. Big celebration. Win the fucking match. Come on. Come on. This guy comes. He makes his. They're four for four. No celebration at all. Then this guy five for five and he just stands still and drinks it all in as chaos erupts around him. I Look, he's just staying still. Everyone's swarming. The whole thing is getting swarmed, and he was just standing there. People are bowing down. They're kissing the grass. I mean, they're hugging. You're hugging strangers. You're going crazy. All the kids, all the kids are on shoulders. That's how you know it's a good time. Look at this. Get the kids up there. Let them enjoy it. They're saying that was the craziest finish in English uh, football history. And now you guys have seen it because you missed it initially. And that was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Brought to you by Farmer's Dog. They're going to deliver you fresh, healthy dog food recommended by vets. They got dry. They got wet. My dogs have been eating it and absolutely been loving it. It doesn't matter if your dog is young or old. It's always the right time to begin investing in their health. Get 50% off your first box at thefarmersdog.com slash John Boy. And now it's time for... Fan of the week. Who are you going to vote for? Who do you got? Fan of the week. Vote accordingly. Vote well. And subscribe. Yes. Subscribe to the channel. And James says hi. Say, <laughs> say subscribe. Close.